Oh, uh, Shannon, how will you remember Wade's career? He's an all-time great. He's a top 50 player, Skip. He's the third best shooting guard all-time behind, <clears throat> obviously, Jordan and Kobe. Um, his greatest moment, Skip, came in that 2006 finals. They were down 0-2. Yep. And in the next four games, he averaged 39 points a game. Averaged about 35 points for the series. He averaged was about 35 free throws a game. <laughs> yeah, oh, they should have stopped fouling him. <laughs> they had no answer because remember, Skip, in the fourth, what, the fourth quarter, they were down with yeah. like five or six minutes to go, about 10 points, and he just like, no, I'm not going. And I think his famous words were, I'm not going out like this. Correct. And he took over the game. He's great. Uh, finals MVP, 13-time All-Star, eight times All-NBA, three-time All-Defensive player. But I think what makes D. Wade different and what we're starting to see, Skip, it's great to be good on the court. Mm -hmm. But when guys start branching, what they do in the community. Mm -hmm. Because what he means to that Miami community, Oof. they embraced him from day one. And Dade County became Wade County. Did. And you look at LeBron. LeBron grew even more once he started doing things off the court. And D. Wade has been doing things off the court in Miami. He's had an unbelievable career. His body let him down somewhat, Skip, because he Did. played so hard. Yep. Every, every game, he was diving on the floor for loose balls. The greatest shot blocker for a guard in NBA history. Mm -hmm. So his place in NBA lore mm -hmm. is intact. He had nothing else to prove. He had made peace with the decision. I'm yep. going home. Got a wife now. Got a new baby girl. Mm -hmm. I got kids that's going to high school. Zaire's son, I think he's 16. Let me go home. Mm -hmm. Be a dad. I've been away long enough. I'm coming home. Mm. And the, the turnout was unbelievable. And guess what? For the first time, the Miami Heat fans showed up early. Because you know they don't normally show up to like the third quarter. And then if they lose, they leave right shortly after that. Kind of like they did in the finals game. Yep. But this was a great moment. I, I, I'm glad I got an opportunity to see this young man play. Mm -hmm. He was special. And uh, a very fitting end to a career. I echo every word you just spoke and then some. In all my years of watching, covering, talking about the Nas National Basketball Association, I have never seen anything quite like Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. He can't be more than about 6'4", because I've stood next to him, and I, sometimes I'm not even sure he's 6'4". Maybe say three. Maybe. <laughs> he had the impact of a 6'9 man. He did. And I want to be clear about this. This is the, uh, a, a similar syndrome to me as how I feel about Tom Brady. I am not, as you know, a New England Patriots fan, but I've always been a Brady fan. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Heat fan, but I have always been in awe of this man. Yep. Because to me, if his knees had held up after 2006, like Pat Riley says, he was the best player in the league in 2006, and mm -hmm. I buy that 1,000%. Yep. But remember, while he was at Marquette, he had two of those prehistoric knee surgeries, yeah, yeah. the kind where they cut you. They fillet you. Yes, they <laughs> fillet you. This is not the arthroscopic where they can go in with the little, little tiny camera dude. and you have this little tiny hole that goes away and you don't even have a scar right. from arthroscopic. Correct. He got cut twice. And we find out and once we get inside what, yeah. what we're looking for. Oh, oh we found that. <laughs> and and it's, it takes six months just to recover from the scar on yes. the outside. Yep. OK, so he never quite recovered from those two because they just ate at his what was left of his cartilage was right. just sure. gone. And he got bone on bone by yep. 07, 08. Mm -hmm. and, and it hurt my eyes because to me, Dwayne Wade's impact on defense as well as offense was Jordan-esque. Yes. And, you know, as big a Jordan fan, it's hard for me to say that. Yes. But it was Jordan-esque. Yes. Like you said, nobody as a two guard could block shots like Dwayne could. Mm -mm. He was a rim protector yep. at six feet, three and a half inches tall. Mm -hmm. Nobody could disrupt on defense any greater than Jordan right. did. The, this guy was in the right. ballpark, yeah. right? He was up there. And on offense as a clutch playmaker, he was kind of in the same breath with Michael Jordan. And he, he was. Went, and Skip, and the thing was, what hurt what hurt the most is that his style was attacking the rim. Yeah. Where if your knees are bothering Man. you, you yeah. can't elevate and attack the rim like you once could. I agree. But his biggest contribution, Skip, might have been what? His unselfishness. Le well, I was going to say, Le what he did for LeBron was, it, it was special. What he did was not only embrace LeBron in Miami, but he took a back seat. He did. Not, uh, he said, about, I'm Robin. 
I'm, I'm good. Right. That's okay. So very few, very yeah. few people have been able to do that. I think the the uh, he might be the second greatest guy to do that. I think Kareem taking a back seat to Magic, Magic because when Magic got there, you got people don't realize this. Kareem had five MVPs before Magic set foot in the NBA. In Magic's rookie year, Kareem won the MVP again. He did. So he had six MVPs, and he said, "You know what? He he the guy." But Magic paid nothing but respect to. He called him Cap. Cap. In Cap. Captain. Yeah. What okay. you want, Cap? Hey, yeah. we run. I, I know we getting up and down. Get on the block. I'm gonna give you a couple of these things. <laughs> I know. But for D Wade to do that, Skip, how many times you see a guy? Mm -hmm. That's what Steph Curry is another one. He turned. Hey, KD, go ahead, bro. Do you? Okay, but Steph knew I I need this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I think Dwayne Wade he wanted more championships. Also, he, he did. knew that he could get more championships with LeBron than without. But, but he, it says he had something. to show him how. Yeah. And once he showed him how, it didn't work the first time around 2011, but in 2012, it worked. I think the biggest thing that D-Wade did for LeBron was to to told him to be LeBron James. Yep. He said, you're trying to be something that you're not. Yep. You're trying to play a role that I'm better than suited for. Mm -hmm. Let me be Robin. Mm -hmm. You be Batman. You lead this thing. I'll find my place. Mm -hmm. I'll get my buckets. I'm good. You just go be you. And once he did that, because they're such good friends, Skip, you, the last thing you want to do is step on your friend's toes. That's the last thing Braun wanted to do. It, so, and it takes some time your friend telling you, bro, no, nah, you good. Mm -hmm. Do you. I'm going to be all right over here. I'm going to hold this thing down back here. Mm -hmm. And when you need a blow, I'll be ready to take this thing over. But for his career, it's unbelievable. He's not going to get the career. He's not going to get the credit that he deserves because you know why, Skip? He fell right in the middle of Kobe. And he played, he got drafted the same year as LeBron. So he's never going to... He just wasn't healthy enough. Right. And yeah. it's kind of like any quarterback. And you know what? I got to throw this in just to be totally objective. Mm -hmm. He also fell short of LeBron in this capacity. He never quite learned how to take care of himself the way LeBron did. Right. Because he was always just a little bit heavy. I think, I, think, I think at the end he started yeah. to, but it was too late. The, mm -hmm. damage had, the damage on his knees had already been done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. But... Big picture, my takeaway last night, that was nothing but love. It, it brought tears to my eyes watching that the That tribute of the game. was unbelievable Ooh, how they, they would bring the, the, the Parkland, the, uh, the school shooting, yeah. break, brought the yeah. jersey to one of the kids that died, and somebody brought their cap and gown and says, I was able to do this because of you. And then his mom explained that the church, and you don't know what this did for a lot of people. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm watching, I'm like, wow. Yeah. And that's when you realize, and I think that's when D-Wade realizes that, you know what? When they say it's bigger than basketball, yep. it really is because the impact that he had really had nothing to do with the game of basketball. No, he didn't. touched someone's life and he wasn't dribbling a basketball. And there was no real diva in him. No. There was no condescension like, I'm above you all. It's right. like, I'm just one of you. As soon as he walked out of that arena, he was just d d d d -way. one of the people. Yeah, and he like, oh, he like, oh, oh too. He like on Onk Shaw. One of the people? Yeah, that was a he like on Onk Shaw. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Could have fooled me. I don't Don't know. do that, Skip. Don't do that. See, why you be hating? No, I don't, you, I'm not I don't hating. Say, I don't say anything. When you and Tom, y'all be talking on the mm -hmm. phone. And I don't Tom say who? Tom Brady. I don't talk to Tom. You don't talk to Tom? I never talk to oh, Tom. Oh, well, I mean, you But know, you I, DM with LeBron. No, whoa, whoa, that's a Skip. You checked in on him today? Hold on, talk about Skip. Why you dressed okay? Hold on. I tell you things in confidentiality. Oh, I said, you, you know said what? it on the air. I, I said, you know what? That's going to be between Skip. say that in confidence. That's going to be between Skip and I. Yeah. Not Skip and I and I, and, I, I, I and, and LeBron. And everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs>